Welcome to Electro Online. Here, our next example, we have a composite plate, but we do have a hole in it. Notice that it's situated about the y axis where most of the mass is on the right side, less mass on the left side. So, we do have a net moment here about the y axis. Notice along the x axis, we have the same amount of mass on one side versus the other side. So, the moment about the first moment about the x axis should be zero. The equation that we use to find the first moment about the y axis is equal to the sum of the product of the x coordinate of the center mass of each individual piece times the area of each individual piece. But notice when we have a hole, we should subtract that mass or we should subtract that area from the total equation because it's missing. Let's now plug in the equation, see how we get that. So the first moment about the y axis is equal to the x coordinate of the center of mass of this first piece, that first rectangle. That center mass should be about halfway, not about halfway, but exactly halfway between the origin and the left side of that rectangle. If it's a one meter in distance, that would be a half a meter to the left of the y-axis. That would be minus, minus 0 0.5 meters. Right, a little bit better there. Zero, minus 0 0.5 meters times the area which would be 1 meter times 2 meters, which is 2 meters squared. Okay, now for the second portion right here, we have a rectangle. We're going to ignore the hole. Assume the hole is not there. We take the entire plate. The center mass of that rectangular portion would be halfway between the y-axis and the edge of the rectangle. It's 4 meters in length. That places the center mass at 2 meters. times the area of the plate, area would be 4 meters times 2 meters, which is 8 meters squared. And finally, now I have the hole. Now remember, the hole is missing area or missing mass, so I need to subtract that minus the center of mass of the hole is right here at the center, 2.5 meters away from the y-axis, so that's the x-coordinate of the center mass is 2.5 meters and I multiply it times the area of the hole, the radius is 0.5 meters, the area of the hole would be pi times 0.5 meters, so pi times 0 0.5 meters, we need to square that, that's the radius squared. That should give us the first moment about the y-axis, so let's go ahead and calculate that. This is equal to 0 0.5 times 1, that would be negative 1 meter cubed, 2 times 8 is plus 16 meters cubed and minus point yeah. minus, let's see, that's 0.25. I better get a calculator for that one. So 0.5 squared times 2.5 times pi equals, and that would be 1.96, so minus 1.96 meters cubed. Adding all that together, we get uh, 15 minus 1.96. We get 13.04, a positive 13.04 meters cubed, and that would be the first moment about the y-axis. This is a good example. You can see now that when you have a hole, you actually subtract it. Anything to the left side is subtracted because that's on the negative side of the y-axis. Anything to the right is normally positive because that's on the right side of the y-axis. Unless it's missing mass, then we call that negative as well. Now, if there was missing mass on the left side, we would have to add that instead of subtract it because the two negatives would negate each other. And that's how we find the first moment about an axis using a composite plate when we have holes in it.